My name is Rob Shaw. I own Rob Shaw Gallery and Framing, and I'm a real great uh, art appreciator, and um, I just enjoy artwork. I like to paint landscapes, um, but one thing that makes me unusual is that I paint with a palette knife. Um, so I use oil paint, but uh, instead of using brushes, like which is the traditional method, I use a uh, palette knife, which is kind of like a little spatula to uh, paint with. Um, and I paint everything. I paint figures and still lifes and landscapes, but my favorite thing to paint is um, coastal scenes. Uh, a lot of things with water. I like reflections in water and uh, the way light reflects off of water. So I would say um, s lakes and oceans, uh, landscapes are my favorite thing to paint. I got into the framing business because I'm an artist. And uh, in college, I worked at a frame shop and realized uh, how important it was to have access to frames and framing materials. One of the best things I like about working in a gallery or frame shop is just the cool artwork that comes through. Um, you never know what you'll see. Um, sometimes we see really nice original pieces. Other times we might see something cool that just like someone's kid did, but it's you know, unique and um, has great colors. Um, I've framed two Warhols at the gallery, and um, we've seen um, a custom client that had four Rodin uh, drawings, which were museum quality. Um, so I th the coolest thing for me is all the cool artwork I get to see. So when a client comes into the gallery, um, first we take some time to get to know them, find out what their decor is like. We'll discuss their artwork with them, and um, I'm a, being an artist, I'm trained at different mediums, so I can kind of tell, uh, you know, if it's an original piece or whether or it's a poster and how it needs to be treated. Uh, pastels are tricky because they shed. Oil paintings are different because you don't put glass on them. You know, they don't. They just they're exposed to the air. So, depending on what type of artwork it is, um, they get it gets a different treatment. So we talk with the client about that and go back and forth and find out what they like and what they don't like and what's best for the artwork. Once the client leaves, uh, we tell them it's about two weeks for completion of a framing job. So uh, once they leave, we order the materials, which is usually a frame, maybe a mat. Um, if it's oversized, we might have to get some special backing just to fit uh, things that are large. The company delivers the materials. It takes about two weeks, or it takes about a week, and so it gives us about a week to get it completed. Um, the molding, I don't know if this is appropriate. The molding, this is just a molding sample. It comes in in straight sticks, like 10 foot sticks. And so I'll cut it to the custom size, because everything we do is custom, because um, most artwork is unusual sizes, so. I'll cut the molding to size and build it. And then we'll cut a mat, which is the border around the artwork. The mat also uh, serves the purpose of keeping the glass off of the artwork. It's, their mats are kind of thick. And, um, and there's multiple kinds of glass you can use too. Um, Non-reflective glass, UV protective glass, um, frosted glass, which isn't as popular these days. Um, once we get all that cut, and built, we'll assemble it all together into the frame, and then we finish it up with like paper on the back and a wire for hanging. And then we'll call the customer. The purpose of framing is to preserve artwork. Um, most artworks are pretty delicate. You know, they're on paper, like a thin canvas. So uh, without proper protection or care, um, they won't last the test of time. So the purpose of framing Originally, it was just to protect our work. Um, you know, you put a frame on the edge so the edges don't get beat up, or you put glass on front of something so um, scratches or fingerprints don't get on it. So um, that is the main purpose and the original purpose of framing. Rob Shaw Gallery and Framing is located at 324 State Street in West Columbia in the Historic District. Um, on the web, it's uh, robshawgallery.com.